So today we have a special day because my mom, she came from Germany, uh, was here already a couple, two months in US, but she was in Florida with my niece and now she came uh, to Denver and today we have her here. Unfortunately, my dad passed away. Uh, right now she's alone and uh, grieving, but I've seen her over the years, multiple times here in US, because she lives in, in Germany, as I said. So we're kind of trying to make it comfortable for her as much as possible. So, you know, she's okay. Today we have some regular dental hygiene procedures. She knows many people here uh, from uh, previous uh, visits. And uh, yeah, so that's always the special day. Bring mom to work day, exactly. Today is a good day. Uh, we have two doctors, Dr. Omid and Dr. Tworskoy, of course. Um, so we have two columns of patients today, a lot of new patients. But more importantly, Dr. T, Dr. Tworskoy, his mom is here today. And she is from Russia and she's lived in Germany. So we are excited to have her here. And she brought us some great Russian treats. <laughs> we always like food. <laughs> so that was really nice of her. Okay, the, the recessions are from overbrushing because <clears throat> we are too strong with the brush. So if you brush, yes, but don't brush too strong. Oh, see how it was here. This was uh, six years ago and wow, so it's, it's really improved. Okay. Yes, open, stay open now. Yes, artificial knees, artificial everything. He's riding motorcycle. <laughs> and you too, huh? You're right. What is it? You want me to look whether we can get what we talked about yesterday? Yes. Okay, let me double check. Who is it here? Yeah. Okay, I see. I got you. I will adjust a little bit and then I see what's going on. Okay, paste it. Yeah, so we don't charge him if Medicaid doesn't pay, but we did a cruise charge. Yeah. Do you need me? For what? For a fight check. She had a crown seated and she thinks it's high. Aha, okay, okay. gotcha. Just a second. I was really happy to meet her. I thought it was adorable that I can see the resemblance in. Dr. Tverskoy and his mom. <laughs> There's nothing cuter than an old Jewish babushka with her baby. And in this case, Dr. T is the baby. Ну, видишь, нас купил вот такие вот штуки. Да, это лабораторию у тебя здесь. Не, мам, это здесь просто, это фактически такой space, ну, такое место, где, ну, что здесь делать? Вот здесь, так что здесь есть тоже место. Ага, хорошо. То есть мы как бы использовали, в общем-то, здесь, это же только два офиса, но мы здесь сделали так, что могут несколько человек работать. И вот самое главное, это лаборатория, то, что я тебе показывал. Видишь? Ну вот как раз машина делает коронку, иди посмотри. Помнишь, раньше у меня сидел техник, делал коронки? Вот сейчас машина вырезает ее. Нет, это тоже при мне уже было. Да, но это это другая как бы... Ну, это здесь основная разница в том, что это большие эти шайбы, и я из них могу делать большие работы. Ну два раза в неделю и вот другая женщина еще она тоже каждый день а этот паренек он э, работал э, светлый такой высокий а, высокий светлый да э, он работает в другой практике и они вот из-за ковида он мне говорил да у них такое там бизи и так много пациентов я говорю ну удивительно уже сейчас в принципе да. немножко сложно оказывается они из пяти дней они сделали только два дня и вот он сейчас у нас работает два или три дня и там работает ну вот так. А, Это да. высокий. Да. И потом еще один вот из врач, который у меня сейчас уже месяц, почти месяц. Он сам с Ирака. То есть приехал, ну, в общем, было целые дела. Ну, да. И сейчас врач, он уже в Ираке работал врачом. Здесь закончил американскую систему. И вот сейчас вот сейчас. Ага, он мы... у тебя работает каждый день. Он каждый день, да. Ага. да. Ну, ну вот, да. да. Мало ли что, нужно тебе уехать. Once we diagnose something, we try to get people into the dental office right away, sooner rather than later. Um, 
this way, there's no confusion about what kind of treatment they need. They're on the same page as we are. And when people sometimes wait too long, there's a lot of questions that happen. So we will have to then bring them in for another reconsultation, reevaluation, um, just to make sure everybody's still on the same page. Sometimes people often self-diagnose what they think they have going on in their mouth and then trying to, once we take an x-ray and we see what's going on, trying to let people know this is actually the case, this isn't what you thought it was, or people want to sometimes think that I don't need this, I need this treatment, do this type of treatment. Дайте, пожалуйста, мне вашу, держите открыто и дайте мне, пожалуйста, вашу левую руку, указательный пальчик. Да, отлично. So we took a panoramic x-ray on this new patient and um, it showed a little bit, um, looks like a bone loss. Uh, Dr. T is going to determine it. So I explained to patient that it's important we have to take another uh, PA so he can, um, we can determine what exactly is going on. His implants were placed like 15 years ago, he says. He wants us to replace it. Um, but before we replace it, we want to make sure that everything is okay. That's what I was explaining to a patient. Да, доктор все проверяет, сейчас он подойдет. Как раз вот этот именно имплант, там, где у вас attachment, вот этот металлическая часть, она, да. The great thing about having an international office, as we say, or a multilingual office, we have many languages that our staff are able to speak to different patients. Our Dr. Omid, he speaks Arabic, so we're able to service our Arabic population. You know, um, Eddie and myself, Spanish, and then we also have um, Dr. Torskoy, who speaks German, Russian, um, and Hebrew, with a little bit of Yiddish. So our office is located in a central part of Denver, where we have large communities and large populations of people pretty much from all over the world, very, very diverse population. And the fact that our office is able to adequately communicate with patients and people who need care is a great service to our community versus other offices that don't incorporate or aren't fortunate enough to have the multilingual talents. They limit themselves in patient care and the amount of people that they are actually able to serve and help and see. And they don't realize that we can't just do what you want us to do ideally because we actually are you know legally bound and we care enough to actually fix the problem a big part of probably the medical and dental communities is patient education so we're honest we always try to educate our patients and show them you know x-rays pictures whatever um, why you need the treatment you need and how come you know what you thought maybe you needed wasn't the best option to get you out of pain or long-term option. A lot of times people think, oh, it's expensive or, you know, I don't have the money. And, and we definitely try to work with people reasonably to get them the care that they need. Um, at our office, you know, if you can work with us, we can work with you somehow. But people really have to first understand that we can't just do what you ask us to do, because it might save you money. If it's not even the correct diagnosis of the problem, so. <laughs> Bella. Bella, ah, 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 minha irmã, minha sister Bella.